Our Bible story today, Daniel 100% committed to God, based on the book of Daniel, chapter 6. There were times when many of God's people turned their back on God, because they did. God's people were taken from their home, the promised land, to a foreign country as slaves. During this time, there were a few good men who stood committed to the God of Israel with their whole hearts. They did not compromise, but they followed and trusted God no matter what. One of these men was named Daniel, who was taken from his home when he was very young. Daniel was a handsome, wise Jewish man that stood out from the rest in Babylon. He was chosen to serve the, one of the king's advisors because he was so wise. But he didn't serve just one king, but four different kings over a period of 70 years. Daniel always respected and served each king to the best of his abilities, yet he never compromised his commitment to God. Things were going pretty good for Daniel. King Darius thought Daniel was so smart and so wise that he was going to put Daniel in charge of the kingdom. But this made the other mean advisors just a little jealous. They wanted to get rid of Daniel so they could be in charge. They looked and looked for something wrong in Daniel, but could not find one wrong in him. So they decided to trick the king to make a law that the people could only pray to the king and no one else for 30 days. They knew Daniel would not follow this law because he prayed to God and only to the God of Israel. The consequences for not following the king's law was to be thrown into the lion's den. Daniel knew the mean, jealous advisors were setting him up, but he did not say a word Daniel just went about his daily routine, just like he has for the past 70 years. Daniel was committed to God 100% and trusted God to take care of him no matter what. Daniel would go back to his room, open his window, look towards Jerusalem, then pray and thank God. Once Daniel did this, the mean, jealous advisor said, Aha! We got you! And they went running back to the king to tell on Daniel and how he broke the law the king had signed. This made King Darius very sad. He liked Daniel and realized the other advisors had tricked him, but he could not change the law. So Daniel was taken and thrown into the lion's den. The king prayed that Daniel's God would keep him safe. The king had a horrible night. He couldn't eat and he couldn't sleep. But the next morning came and King Darius rushed to see if Daniel was all right. He called, Daniel, Daniel, did your God protect you? The king was so surprised, but so happy to hear Daniel answer, yes, long live the king. My God has protected me. God had sent an angel to shut the mouths of the lions so they could not harm me because I was found innocent in his sight. Nor have I done anything wrong to you, my king. The king quickly got Daniel out of the lion's den and the ones who wanted to harm Daniel are now the ones being harmed. The king called for the mean, jealous advisors and told the guards to put them with the hungry lions in the lion's den. King Darius created a new law that called to all the people in the lands to be devoted to Daniel's God, the God of Israel, the living God whose kingdom shall not be destroyed but shall endure to the end. Daniel prospered during the reign of King Darius and King Cyrus. Our CWC kids are really building character on the foundation of God's Word with another great story about Daniel and the lion's den. This one we can really take a bite out of it. It is exciting to see that Daniel was 100% committed to God and he did not compromise in any way, shape, or form. 
He knew how much he loved God and he always wanted to do the right thing. Commitment. What really is commitment? It means that you're dedicated. It means that you are a part of something and you have to make a choice beforehand. Like if you're going to play on a baseball team, you choose to be on that team. Because you chose that team, you're going to have to go to all the practices, listen to the coach, as well as play in all the games. That would be a commitment to the baseball team. But how can we be 100% committed to God? That is a choice that we make every morning. When we wake up, we open our eyes and say, I choose to serve God. I choose to talk and pray to God. I choose to read God's word. And I choose to do the very best that I do in everything. That is being 100% sold out, committed to our God. So, let's see. Are you going to take the challenge of being 100% committed? I hope so. Let's have a great day. Our memory verse, Psalms 37, 5. Commit your ways to the Lord, trust in Him, and He shall do it. Thank you for watching CWC Kids. Join us again next Sunday at 9 a.m. when we share another Bible story. You can access CWC Kids videos on our YouTube channel at Covenant Word Church Key West, our website at covenantwordchurch.org, or our Facebook page at CWC Key West. Please subscribe to be sure you don't miss an episode of Building Character on the Foundation of God's Word. See you next time on CWC Kids. Have a blessed week.